All right, Shalom. Shalom. All right, first off, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Bahakodash. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone and teaching rule well. Peace and blessings unto the elect. All right, I'm the brother Benaiah. I'm here with the uh, the priest, Ozma Wath. Shalom. From Great Millstone Dallas Branch, coming back at you with another video. And as you can see from the title, man, it's going trusting in the Lord is, is second nature, okay, or it's becoming second nature unto the elect, man. You see? Because right now, you know, we kind of touched on it last night in um uh, at that camp, man. And uh, basically, man, this this what we're going through right now is boot camp, man. You see, these different trials and tribulations, the Lord is ultimately He's uh, 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 building us up, man. Okay, and assuring us, you know, what I'm saying through these different trials to trust in Him, man. You see, because it's gonna uh, it's gonna take uh, 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 full trust, all right, in your How about Shimmy How was shy? All right, to get us uh, through the situation we about to be faced with, man. Going into the time of Jacob's trouble, going into the time of uh, 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 the hour of temptation, you see? Right now, we're going through the fundamentals. You can take basketball, all right? You can take boxing or different type of uh, sports for an example. You see, the coach constantly drill you with what? These fundamentals. You see, you constantly practice the same thing over and over and over, you see? And to the point to where when, when, when you're in a fight or you're in the game, and something happens to you, you know, a situation happens that you, it, it, it's second nature, it's instinct, because you've been working on it so long, man, and that's what these different trials and tribulations that we're going through right now, okay, that's what the Lord is doing with us, man, he's building us up, you see, so you got something, or we can get Kai, yeah, I got a, I got a quick one, this is, uh, Sirach chapter 34 and verse 10, he that have no experience knoweth little, but he that have traveled is full of prudence, mm. Yeah, and uh, like we just said, man, uh, like scripture just says, he that has no experience, he knoweth little. You see, in the Lord, you know, he's um, he's seasoning, you know, the elect, man, by giving us, you know, uh, Lord Abarajazah, we'd be a part of that number, right? But by him giving us these trials and tribulations, that's him giving us particular experiences so we can become wiser, you see, so we can understand, you know, the do's and don'ts and understand the intricacies, you know, of our power. It says, but he that have traveled, but he that have traveled is full of experience, yeah. And, you know, of course, yeah, you could apply that physically, but, you know, much more so uh, spiritually, man. We're going through a lot of twists and turns and, you know, uh, you know, valleys and things of that nature spiritually, man. So we're traveling, mm -hmm. you see? We're traveling in the spirit. We, we're going places, man. So th that's the Lord giving us, you know, um, you know, cultivating us, giving us culture, giving us character, you see, which is, which is all going to be, <laughs> very vital and beneficial in the time of Jacob's trouble, man. That's right, cause hey, hey, we on the straight gate. You see, the scriptures talk about this, this, this old seek ye the old path. You see, so we traveling right now. You see, every brother, every believer in in, in this in this truth, man, we're walking this walk, man. And hey, we all, you know, the destination is all the same for every one of us, man. But we go through different things, man. You see, but all these situations we can definitely can learn from because that's what the scriptures tell us, man. To rejoice. When persecution, when you're going through something, man, you see, because it works. Uh, uh, uh. Matter of fact, let me grab that right quick. Okay. Let me grab that right quick, bro. This is Romans, Romans chapter five and verse three, and I'm reading the NLT. It says, "We can rejoice too when we run into trouble, troubles and trials, for we know that it that they help us develop endurance." Yeah. <clears throat> it says, "And endurance develops strength of character." And strength of, and character strengthens our confidence, our confident hope for salvation. You see, so all these different, all these different trials and tribulations that we face with, are an opportunity for us to grow. You see, because it's a purpose to these to these different trials and tribulations that we go through in our individual walks, man. You see, it has a purpose, man. You see, there's a purpose for it, and it's a reward at, at the end, man. You see, mm -hmm. it's a purpose to let you know to what to trust in the Lord, and also that that reward is what. You building your faith up and your trust up in your in your personal relationship with your how about Shimmy I was shy. You see? And we're gonna congrat us a rock, bro. Cause we're gonna, we gonna get straight into it, man. Cause the scriptures, the scriptures tell you in wisdom of Solomon, before you grab that, the, I mean the, the, the scriptures tell you in Isaiah 33 and 6, man, that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time, man. I got you, see? you right here, bro. Go ahead, bro. This is Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 6. It says, uh, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh Bashim Shah is his treasure. Yep. Because everything when you were when you really look at it, man, everything from wisdom, all this, it roots back into the fear of the Lord, man. You see? That's the beginning. That's that's the that's the uh 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 
<laughs> that's what the road leads to. All right, they, like I said, it's the treasure of the Lord, man. You see, because the fear of the Lord can unlock so much for you, man. man. It's, it's, it's that's that's the key to uh, the tapping into that, that 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 spiritual powers, man. You see, but I want to grab that definition for second nature, man, because uh, uh, like I said, the Lord is training us right now. It's something that we got to learn, you know, because I know like J Lo, it should be first nature. Man. You see, well, first nature is some instinctual that we we you know what I'm saying. We we had to learn to fear the Lord. We had to learn to trust in the Lord. You see. This is the this is your dictionary.com. It says uh, the second nature definition habits, characteristics, etc. acquired and fixed so deeply as to seem part of a person's nature, a mindset, skill or type of behavior so ingrained through habit or practice that it seems natural, automatic or with or without a basis in conscious thought. You see, and that's what these different trials and tribulations is, is doing for uh, for the hopeful elect, man. You see. Cause when we go into the time of Jacob's trouble, man, it's gonna be, it's gonna be automatic, man. That's why the scriptures say they shall, they shall no longer stay upon him that smote them, man. You see why? Because we gonna that the elect is gonna trust in the Lord, man. They're gonna have, they're gonna have, they had all these different trials and tribulations, these different experiences, man, where the Lord then put them through some and brought them out and showed them the, the you know what I'm saying, the lesson. Which every trial and tribulation we go through always goes back to the Lord pointing at us, saying, "Trust in me." You see. Literally every road leads back unto the Lord uh, Waving his hand saying hello trust in me man You see just like David That's why David boasted how he boasted When he fought Goliath man You see he had all those past experience He totally trusted in the Lord Can you grab that precept bro And oh, so rock oh, Grab that in Sirach Because that's, that's, that's why David was so calm Alright in that situation man Sirach 47 Yeah uh, no nah, Sirach 22 And can you grab it okay. in GNT uh, okay. GNT Kai. I got a quick one if you want it. Oh go ahead bro Yeah this is the book of uh, Cause it goes right into it This is Psalm chapter 34 David speaking right here This is a Psalm of David It's a uh, Psalm chapter 34 And verse 11 He says Come ye my children Hearken unto me I will teach you The fear of the Lord Yahweh Basham I'm gonna get that in NLT He says Come my children And listen to me And I will teach you The fear of the Lord Right, and I'm gonna I'm get this word uh, teach real quick in the Hebrew. Right, it's uh, Strong's H3925 Lamad. Right, it says to learn, to teach, to exercise in. It says to be trained, like what mm. you were just going into about that second nature. All right, right now, we're and what, this precept we're about to get in the book of Sirach, the 22nd chapter. Right, this goes into us being trained. The Lord is training us. Right to fear him, training us to, to lean upon him, to trust him. Now, along with that, right, a part of the Lord teaching us, right, comes chastisements because what words don't teach, adversity will. Now, when you get this uh this word teach here in the Hebrew Chaldee lexicon, it's it literally says to chastise, to strike, to beat with a rod. You see? So part of the Lord teaching us to fear him, teaching us to, to trust in him, right? He beats us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, in the form of, you know, particular afflictions, trials, tribulations, mental anguish, spiritual, you know, it says, especially beast of burden, right? Because, you know, we're likening them to, you know, sheep, right? And oftentimes when that shepherd, you know, is trying to rally his sheep together, you know, to, to you know, put them in the pen or whatnot, bring them back to the fold, right? Hey, he, he has a shepherd's staff for a reason, man. And that's to, you know, beat the sheep over the head. That's to teach them, hey, don't don't go off into that ditch no more. Don't be running off from my passion no more. Mm -hmm. Right? That, that's him training the cattle. Oh, dang, it says, it says, hence to discipline, to train cattle. It says trained, i.e., practice for war. See, and we're going into the time of war. Mm -hmm. the, the ultimate dark battle day, man. Jacob's trouble. So we're being trained for war right now. Because right now, this ain't war. Like, this is literally, we still on the sideline. Well, not on the sidelines, but this is like a, uh, this is a, um, this is practice, man. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not even game day, right? It says to accustom oneself to anything, um, to train, to accustom. Yeah, that's pretty much the point on that. Mm -hmm. so get that, Sirach. Yeah, yeah Sirach. Hey, you got an in GNT, bro? Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, I'll get it. Yep, and then I want to pull that, uh, that worry train, bro, because you had mentioned it in it. It speaks about that in, uh, in that Sirach 22 as well, bro. Okay. Start at 16. All right, this is Rock chapter 22 and verse 16 in the GNT. It says, A wooden beam can be put into a building so firmly that an earthquake cannot shake it loose. Mm -hmm. 
a person can be trained to use reason and good sense so well that he keeps his head when a crisis comes you see and that's what the lord is doing with us right now he's training us like the brother said you see or like the scripture said as well man you see all these different trials and tribulations that we're going through is just the lord preparing us and training us man you see that way uh can we can you hold that james too bro and yeah. I, want, I want you to keep going on that one though bro okay. real quick but let me get this uh let me get this word train bro real quick this is the etymology of the word train it says to discipline to teach to bring to a desired state by means of instruction it says to draw out and manipulate in order to bring to a desired form you see and the lord is so it was already in us bro you see i think you had mentioned that before we we uh we uh you know started the camera about it being uh, uh born with the elect mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying i think it was a fear yep. fear was created with the faithful in the womb i got you, you right see here it? go ahead bro this is rock chapter one and verse 14 to fear the Lord, Yahweh Bashmah Shah, is the beginning of wisdom, and it was created with the faithful in the womb. You see, it was created with the faithful in the womb, man. You see, it was all it was always inside of us, man. You see, but the Lord had to draw it, He's drawing it out of us by what? Via this training, via these different trials and tribulations that we're going through right now, man. You see? Like I said, this is all is just this is just the Lord teaching us the fundamentals for the real fight. You see? Just like David, like going back into the example of David, David fought the bear, he fought the lion. Those were all just trials and tribulations. That was all just trials, okay, and practice before he actually got to that real fight, you see? And you see the house of David right now is being prepared, okay? The Lord is training us. Hey, the Lord is training us once again, man. You see, Lord willing, we are that number, man. The Lord is training us right now while the house of Saul is waxing, uh, is, is scared. You see, we see these niggas all on, uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> We see these niggas all on, on vocabs, you know, on vocabs uh, platform, said denouncing that, you know what I'm saying, denouncing they, they uh, you know, and saying God, God, God hates white people. We don't hate, we don't hate white people. Huh. You see, yep. all on, all on, like I said, all on vocabs uh, 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 platform, saying that, you know, we were, you know, once you did, you did say, you know, that, that you know, we were, we were going to be your slaves, but do you still believe it? Nah, I don't believe it in no more. You see. That's just the house of Saul, man. Because when you read that example of David, man, when you read when he, when Goliath was out there, man, Goliath was boasting. And right now, Esau is boasting. He's that big giant in the earth right now. And he's boasting. They got everybody shook. Then he got the house of Saul shook, man. You see? But the house of David is growing bolder and bolder, man. You see? To the point to where hey, it's going to come up to that, hey, it's gonna come to that altercation, man. And the Lord is going to intervene, man. The scripture already talk about how the Lord is going to lift up the standard, man. You see? So this is this right now. He's the Lord is just preparing us with these different trials right now because these are just practice run. These are just the fundamentals to get us ready for that real fight, man. That way, when we hit with these different uh, situations in the time of Jacob's trouble, in the time of the hour of temptation, when all hell breaks loose, you know what I'm saying? We can be calm. You see, we are already rooted like the brother just read in Sirach 22. It says a wooden beam can be put in the earth so deeply that an earthquake can't move it. You see, mm -hmm. that's what these different trials and tribulations is doing is, is digging our roots deep, man. You see, so if I could just add real quick, because you just uh, as we after we just read Sirach the first chapter, how the fear of the Lord, you know, was created with the faithful in the womb. You had mentioned that that uh, that word, or you you said pretty much the Lord is just drawing it out of us, right? And that's literally what the word educate means. Mm -hmm. You know, we're being educated right now. You see, and this is why you know the Lord has His word to go out free course. You know, you know teaching teaching the elect. All right, this and this is all part of the process of sealing the elect. The elect being sealed is all about them being educated, being edified, being built up. Now, I got this word educate real quick on the online online etymology dictionary. Uh mid 15th century uh uh educaten, bring up children mm. to train. And scripture says, train up a child mm -hmm. in a weight which he shall go. So when he is older, he will not depart. And when we're children. But the majority of us, you know, unless you're the apostles or the elders or the bishops, all right? But most of us, hey, we're children. We're babes. You see, we had to be born again, born from the heavens, man. We had to learn everything all over again afresh, the right time. So the Lord is educating us now, right? It says, um, it says, uh, educare, to bring out, to mm. lead forth. You see? So a part of educating is what? It's to bring out something that's already inside of you, mm. man. And this is why scripture says for, uh, you know, uh, uh, pretty much there's no hope for a fool because you can teach a fool all day. But 
the, the truth ain't in the fool. So you can't bring nothing out of somebody that's not even in them. You know, that's why two thirds are not going to get it on this point, on, on this go round, because the fear of the Lord is not in them. This preaching, this this ministry is only for the elect, because only the elect has what what Yahweh Bashmah Shah has, you know, uh, instilled in them from the foundations of the world, and that's to fear Him, to the point to it, like it says in James the first chapter, receive ye, you know, um, you know the word, you know, with, with meekness, the engrafted word, which is able to save. You know your soul and that word engrafted literally means to what to, to bring out something that was already inside basically but yeah. you got it up huh? right, the scriptures talk about that stirring up your, your your mind your pure minds by way of remembrance man you right. see and like i said hey good go, go back to that Sirach so right quick bro yeah. yep. and read 16 and then read 17 bro it's uh Sirach chapter 22 and verse 16 <laughs> in the gnt a wooden beam can be put into a building so firmly that an earthquake cannot shake it loose mm-hmm a person can be trained to use to use reason and good sense so well that he keeps his head when a crisis comes. Mm -hmm. A mind that thinks things through intelligently is like a firm wall finely decorated. Man, you see, a mind, a mind that thinks things through intelligently is like a firm wall, man. Read that next verse, bro. Uh, it says, verse 18, small stones on top of a wall will not stay put when the wind blows and a person whose stupid ideas <laughs> have made him timid will not be able to stand up to frightening situations boom you see and the lord is preparing the elect right now man you see that way they they, they will be able to stand that way they will be firm you see and it says the wind you know small stones will not stay up on the wall when the wind blows man you see ain't that storm coming you see the scripture going to talking about how the wise it goes into the wise builder and the foolish builder you see one who built his house upon a rock then the other man who built his house upon the stand and then that uh, up on the sand and then that storm came and, and blew blew upon the houses man you see and what happened you see the wise man's house it stayed you know it it's it, it's what stood the storm man you see but the foolish man house uh you know it didn't <laughs> it didn't last man it, it basically collapsed man you see real quick bro hold on let's calm down just to back that up right quick bro This is the book of Sirach, chapter 27 and verse 3 in the GNT. It says, unless you are determined in your fear of the Lord, your house is going to come down on you. Ooh, you see? Man. So unless you're determined in the fear of the Lord, man, because everything roots back, everything, all the roads lead back into the fear of the Lord, man. That's why it says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, man. Mm -hmm. You see, everything start, started with fear. When you first heard the apostle and elders, what's the first thing you heard? The Lord about to kill him. What's the first thing you said? What's the first thing you thought? You got scared. That fear, man. That fear of the Lord, man. That reawoken that that drew it out of you. That fear of the Lord had to be drawn back out of us, man. Mm -hmm. You see? And with these different trials and tribulations, like we like we're going into, man, this training, the Lord is teaching us what to train him, man. To the point to where when when we face uh with this time that's gonna be like never before, all right, we're gonna be be able to act appropriately, man. You see? Because we done already been through practice. We done already been working on the fundamentals, man. You see, in our everyday life, man. You see? While all these other niggas, man, who, who claiming to be leaders of Israel, you see, are not preparing their, are not preparing their congregation, not even pushing out the vibration that a storm is coming. You see? Mm -hmm. They saying it's going to be sunshine and rain, man. You see, when the true prophets are, let, are letting you know, starting with the apostles and the elders on down, that a storm is coming, man. You see, and to prepare. You take the right pre uh, preparation to prepare for, to withstand this storm, man. And the only way you're going to be able to do that, man, if that found, if your foundation is built on your how about Shemia was shot, and ultimately with that fear of your how about Shemia was shot, man. That's right. Yeah, what's that in Hebrews 11 chapter? When it was speaking about Noah, it says through uh, through faith, Noah built the ark, uh, persuaded by fear. You see, so fear was the motivator, was the motivating uh, factor, if you will, you know, which, which caused Noah to be obedient in building the ark. And what was the result of that? Noah was preserved as well as his family, man. And we're testament of Noah's fear. We're testament of what happens when a man fears your how about your shot. Just the fact that we're living. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, life comes forth from the fear of the Lord, man. Scripture says that in the book of Sirach, the first chapter, the fear of the Lord is uh is 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 branches along life, roughly paraphrasing. All right, but when there is not fear of the Lord in the equation, well, that's why you got all these little niggas getting shot before they turn 25. I mean, you got Boosie saying, uh, you were you were OG 
if, if you ain't dead by 25. Well, that's because niggas don't fear the Lord. So the Lord take the ass out quick, man. You see? But for the elect, the Lord has put that fear, that, 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 that uh, implanted fear of him before we were even, you know, before we even, you know, came forth out of the womb of our mothers, man. So now in these latter days, the teaching of this word is drawing that out. And now we're being obedient, you know, and building this spiritual art. I got a cool up this cool. Uh, okay, kind of. Yeah, yeah, this is just real that. quick. I know, yeah. you, I know you got you. Uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon 17 and 11 in the GNT. It says, wickedness is cowardly in itself and stands self-condemned. Yeah, you being a nigga, that's cowardly, man. Because you have, that, that takes no integrity. You just, you just being like a beast. You just doing whatever the fuck you want to do. Right, so it says, wickedness is cowardly in itself and stands self-condemned. Mm. Someone with a guilty conscience will always imagine things to be worse than they really are. Why? Because <laughs> the, 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 the confidence of the Lord ain't dealing with you. Mm -hmm. So now you're having to deal with those fears of reality setting in because you was being wicked. It says, fear is nothing but the failure to use the help that reason gives. Mm. Like we just read in Sirach, the 22nd chapter, it says... How a, a wise person would think things through intelligently, and that's how that, that's why these niggas gonna gonna buckle and fold in the time of Jacob's trouble. You see, because they're gonna they're they're gonna fail to use the, the the help that reason gives, that common sense and intelligent gives, right? Because that's a gift of the Lord having common sense. The Book of Proverbs says that it literally says common sense is is a gift from the Lord, man. And common sense ain't so common nowadays. It says verse thirteen. When you lack the confidence to rely on reason, you give in to the fears caused by ignorance. That's why people just lock up when they hear, you know, the sudden bad news mm -hmm. or they see sudden tragedy, you know, happen right in front of them. People just lock up. They don't know what the fuck to do, you know. But see, the elect, as the Lord is training, yeah. you know, the elect right like, now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, just like that, uh, the movie, The Book of Eli, you know. One of the few movies I've seen. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but but now, nah, um, just like the, the movie Book of Eli, man, you saw how hey, Denzel was moving confidently, man. Mm -hmm. Moving with, with fluidity, if you will. Because mm -hmm. he was, he, he, he had experiences. Oh, yeah, he was calm, bro. Yeah. He was calm. He, won, he didn't panic not one time in that movie, bro. Man, bro. Like, literally, if you watch the movie, he did not panic. You didn't see him <laughs> breathing hard and shit. Mm -hmm. He was calm the whole time, bro. You see? And the only way he had he had that calmness, you know what I'm saying? The only way he could he could achieve that type of uh, confidence and, and calmness, man, is through those different trials and tribulations that he went through, man. You see? I got a quick one real quick, bro. This James chapter 1 and verse 2, and uh, uh, this is in a Living Bible uh, translation. It says, Dear brothers, if your life is your life full of difficulties and temptations, then be happy. For when the way is rough, your patience has a chance to grow. So let it grow and don't try to squirm out of your problems. For when your patience is is finally in full bloom, you will be ready for anything. Strong in character, full and complete, man. You see? Now, when you get to etymology of that word patience, all right, it says the quality of being willing to bear adversity. But this is the point calm endurance of misfortune you see going back into how we read like you know the book of Sirach chapter 22 how a person can be trained to use basically to roughly paraphrase and to use wisdom all right to keep a uh, uh, to keep a you know what i'm saying to, to stay calm all right in a crisis you see he can be trained but you got it it has to come that you niggas are not gonna snap into a slim gym right. when jacob trouble pop off and you ain't doing shit now man it's not gonna happen like the brother they had mentioned uh, you not gonna. That's just like somebody fighting. You ain't. You ain't trained. You. You. you yeah. I'm. I'm. Yeah, you. I'm. A, I can fight, but you ain't trained one day in your fucking life, and you get in a fight. You gonna get your ass whooped. Yeah, niggas think they gonna turn to Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, in the man. First fight. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna get your ass whooped, man. And that's what's gonna happen to a lot of these Israelites out here, man. You see, following these these niggas who calling themselves leader, man, leaders. But like I said, man, these temptations and it's hard. Then these different trials and these difficulties that we going through, rejoice with it, man. You see, because they have their purpose. You see. To teach us what? To trust in the Lord and then what? That reward is going to what? Is the reward is what? To build your your faith is going to be built up. Even more, man. You see? And when you continue going on in this definition, it says, Quiet or calm, calmlessness in waiting for something to happen. Mm. You see? Being calm. But read, can you read that Sirach one more time, bro? Sirach 22. Yeah, real quick. Yeah, real quick. One more time, bro. 
You see? And the only way that this, this comes by that, that confidence that the elect is going to have, man, that confidence that David had, man, came by those different trials and tribulations that he that he went through, man. Because when you read that story, everybody else was in a fucking panic, but David was calm. David was calm. He was actually boasting. He he didn't care how big a life was and how bad this nigga was, the reputation that he had. Mm -hmm. All David was doing was boasting in the Lord and his confidence in Yahweh by Shimei Hawashah. You see? Yep. You got it, bro. Kind of, if I could also add, that's what's going to make a, uh, an elect man more precious than a golden wedge of Ophir in that day, man. You know? And a, and a hiding place, you know, from the storm, as Isaiah 32 says. It says, uh, Sirach 22 and 16 in the GNT, a wooden beam can be put into a building so firmly that an earthquake cannot shake it loose. A person can be trained to use reason and good sense so well that he keeps his head when a crisis comes. You see? And this training, so in, 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 hey, rejoice, man. Rejoice in these tribulations that we're going through. You see, these different trials and shit, man. You see, because this is, a, this is the opportunity for our patience to, to grow, man. You see, and, and, and when you read in that James again, James 1, all right, in, um, in verse 4 in the, G, in, the, uh, in the Living Bible translation, it says, So let, let it grow, and don't try to squirm out of your problems. For when your patience is finally in full bloom, you see, it says, then you will be ready for anything, man. Strong in character, full and complete, man. You see? Now, when it when it comes in full, how is it going to come in full, full bloom? By way of that being watered, you see? When you read the scripture, the scriptures talk about these different trials and tribulations. It can, it can be likened unto uh, 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 water, man. Mm -hmm. You see, David said, that if the waters won't overflow me, he was talking about those tribulations and them trials he was going through, man. Mm -hmm. You see, in these different we. A lot of niggas don't like these. These niggas, they don't like to be watered, bro. Mm -hmm. You see, water makes a plant grow. Likewise with us in the spirit, man. These these different waters and these tribulations that we're going through, it helps us grow. Right. You see, to the point to where when it, when it's when the Lord is when when our when our patience is in full bloom, like the scripture saying, wisdom of Solomon, then shall the the, the 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 righteous stand bold as a lion. You see, and it says that it's gonna Esau like, bro, because there's nothing he's gonna be able to do, bro, to shake. You see, to shake the elect, man, because like the brother just read, a wooden beam can be put so deep into the earth, so rooted into the earth, that not even an earthquake can, can shake it loose, bro. And that's going to be likewise with the roots that, that the elect is going to have dig deep into the foundation of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. You see, it's nothing this nigga is going to be able to do, man. And then the victory is already spoken for. It's already written that the elect was going to win, man. You see? You just mentioned uh, it said what faith your faith blossoming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your faith kind of full yep. bloom. Oh, your mm -hmm. patience kind of full bloom. Well, like you just mentioned that water. Well, you know, in a, in an earthly sense, well, the way plants get watered, you know, it, it the storm got to come, the mm -hmm. rain got to come. You see, like what you said, Jake don't want to be watered. With Jake don't want to see the rainy days, man. We'll be sitting up here lying to ourselves and lying to you. All right, we said you know, a hey, rain ain't gonna come. No, the storm gonna hey, they gonna keep coming, man. That's just mm -hmm. how the Lord got the condition of the battle so if you're expecting things to get easy you're you're, you're deceiving yourself the storms are going to keep coming but as those storms come just know hey the sun gonna come out and guess what you're gonna be strong you're gonna be taller you're gonna be blossoming man you see why everybody else they got they got shaken out by the winds and the force of the storms man because they weren't connected to the vine you see john uh john the 15th chapter goes into that man that's the importance of staying connected to the vine you see and also a part of, you know, blooming as well, not only just the storms coming, you know, uh, age that process, but also what? Getting pruned. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of the reasons why trees don't blossom, you know, they don't bear fruits because they're not being pruned. So, man, hey, <laughs> the Lord's love is tough. That's just how it is. He has a heavy hand in showing his love and his hate, <laughs> you know. But nonetheless, man, hey, it gets the job done, you know. So we're going we're gonna to be cut. We're going to be getting stormed on, all right? Just the very fact that, you know, um, you know, talking about, you know, plants. Well, hey, before before you grow up into a mature plant, you got to, that seed got to go down deep into the in, into the dirt, man. And it's dark down there. <laughs> dark, damp, cold, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So as we going through these dark seasons in our life, man, embrace it and just have faith. Have faith that the husbandman. You see, it's, it's, it's going to be tending to us, man, and, you know, caring for us. All right, he didn't bring us in this truth to just, you know, leave us, man. Yep. Hey, and going back into that, 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 that James chapter 1, bro, like it says, man, once, your, once that patience 
is fully uh fully bloomed then you'll be ready for anything man and paul spoke about that man you see when you read philippians chapter 4 paul said that he can live in any situation you see a uh, based you know what i'm saying he can live with man real quick bro it's like yeah. this uh philippians 4 and 12 in the gen in the nlt it says i know how to live on almost nothing or with everything i have learned the secret of living in every situation and what is that secret man all going back into trusting in the lord bro that's that secret having that calm calmness that's, that's how paul was able to be so that's how he was able to live in every situation man <laughs> that secret everybody don't have that secret like the brothers like the brother said earlier man these niggas man when this shit hits man when the lord brings it bro these niggas who, who ain't been lukewarm or who ain't or ain't even practicing you know what i'm saying or one in their congregation you see these people are not going to be ready for when this when that fight happens man you see it says I know how to live in almost uh, in almost on almost nothing or with everything. I have learned the secret of living in every situation. It says whether it is with a full stomach or empty or plenty or little, for I can do everything through Hamashiach who gives me strength. Man, you see, so Paul understood that that trust in the Lord that he he didn't that kept him calm through every situation. I think I remember that when the time he got shipwrecked and he got bit by that snake, he was calm, bro. They was like, bro, he about to die. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> he, what they call him? Like uh, he was with some bar, he, uh, yeah. barbarians. And stuff, bro, yeah. he was like he about to die. They said, oh, he got he, he must be, he got one of the spirits of the gods in him. Or yeah, something. you know <laughs> he was calm. They, yeah. He was a man. They sitting in the damn cobra bite you. And you just pull that bitch off and throw it. And you just chilling. Man. They was just looking, waiting on it, bro. He about to die, bro. Like, bro, he was calm because he trusted in the Lord, bro. Just really thinking like how far removed, like. You know, we, we've become so detached, of course, from the fear of the Lord, but just manhood in general. Because mm -hmm. I've seen my grandpa just, you know, just calmly speaking, my grandpa, like, he would just, you know, like, because you know, we'd be out there in the woods or on the lake all the time. And, you know, so you had snakes crawling in the boat or alligator. My, man, my grandpa was so, so calm, bro. You know, but Jake now is yeah. so fucking effeminized, man. Mm -hmm. So that's why Jacob's trouble. Hey, these niggas, hey, they're ripe for the taking, man. Mm -hmm. They are ripe. And so, of course, the women, these proud ass women, that pride going to get cut. The first, the first five minutes, these blackouts come. All this pride, these, you know, these niggas and women talking shit, that's going to be cut out, man. They can't, you know, you just mentioned about Paul getting bit by a snake, man. Like, oh, my goodness, man. So, but but the elect, hey, the Lord is tending. He's tending over the hopeful elect right now, man. Like it says in 2nd Ezra 9th chapter, with great labor, he made it perfect. Mm -hmm. You know, part of that labor is him training us, man. Mm -hmm. Coming into that full bloom. Bloom really full blossom, you see, and that's gonna be a beautiful thing. That's gonna be you somebody you can't shake, you can't do nothing. You you gonna be that person is gonna be ready for anything and everything that is thrown at them, bro. You see, because he's deeply rooted in the foundation of the fear and the trust of the Yahweh Bashemi Yahushua, man. You see, that's the only way that you're gonna be able to withstand withstand what's coming, man. Is if you root it all right in that fear and that trust in Yahweh Bashemi Yahushua, man. And all these different trials, like the scriptures say, I think it's uh, the Romans, uh, like Romans eight, that all things work for the good of them that 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 basically uh, fear the Lord, man. You see, all these did all, all this what we're going through is good for us, man. You see, because it is it's, it's we cutting off this bullshit, it's building us up, man, and, and, and it's and it's it's making our one on one relationship with your how about Shimmy I was more intimate, man. All right, you see, I got so, a cool one for you. Go ahead, bro. This is uh, Psalms chapter fifty six. And verse uh, three, this is a Psalm of David, right? It says, uh, it says, what time I am afraid I would trust in thee. Yeah, that's right. So because when, 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 when you know, something, <coughs> uh, when a calamity or something bad happens, like, of course, because we're in this flesh, like you can't, we'll be up here lying saying that, you know, <laughs> you'll never kind of get startled or whatever, you know, something, mm -hmm. you know, you get shaken up by a car wreck or, you know, whatever, some type of bad news comes. Right, but David says, "What time I am afraid." So that that little small brief moment, I'm afraid. He says, "I would trust in thee." You got to snap into the spiritual man, hmm. and that's what's going to be the distinct, you know, factor between the elect and the non-elect. Jake, Jake in the world, they're not going to snap out of. They're going to stay operating the carnal man. But see, the elect, hey, you may get yeah. shaken up because mm -hmm. scripture said was that Revelation 11 chapter the elect is going to be a fright mm -hmm. right but hey, that, that's you know walking in the spirit being trained to walk in the spirit and not in the flesh is what's going to see us through and when you walk in the spirit you're able to to calm down right trust in the Lord and that gives you that, that peace and stability of mind to where you can think things through intelligently mm -hmm. okay what do I need to do now 
All right, what type of judgment call needs to be made now? Because that's the times we, we coming in, man. Hey, we finna, we finna be hearing fucking bad news pretty much until we get out of Babylon, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, your job gonna be calling you. Oh, you refuse to take the MOTB. You're out of a job. Your lights get cut off. Your children and your family get separated from you. Yep, kicked out the house. Yeah. All it. Yep. You'd be lying if you saying, okay, for a split second, you ain't going to be afraid. But that's when the trust in the Lord got to kick in, man. Yeah, that's when you snap back into it. Well, snap back into the spirit, man. That you saying that reminded me of First Samuel chapter 30. When Dave and them had, I think had, they had just left uh, 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 from the Philistines, bro. And they went back to their camp and uh, uh, the Amalekites, they came there and destroyed their camp. It took their wife and their children. You see, and the man that were with David when he when they seen when they came to the camp and seen that their they, they, they camp had been destroyed and their wife and children were gone, you see they 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 started willing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Even David for a minute, and then David snapped back into that uh, that slim gym and said he strengthened himself in the Lord. Mm. You see, oh. he went and took counsel of the Lord, man. So he didn't let that situation for that split second. Yeah, he had that corner. You know what I'm saying? That corner, like damn. But then he snapped back into that 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 that, that, that spirit, man. You see. And he strengthened them and strengthened themselves in the Lord, man. You see, that's a that's an example. You know what I'm saying? That just came to mind when you said that, bro. Uh, you know, because like the brother said, yeah, we in the flesh. When we see this shit, you gonna you gonna be like, damn. But you gonna have to, all right. Mm -hmm. I didn't put that, bro. I've been doing what I've been doing. What the Lord been telling me. I know the Lord not about to leave me hanging, bro. Right. You see, right. the Lord ain't about to leave us hanging, man. Yep. You see, the Lord ain't about to let these people win. The Lord ain't about to let Esau win, bro. You see, we've been we've been doing what was we've been doing what is right. Even ASAP said it itself, bro. We ain't clean our hearts in vain. Oh man, you see, yeah, that's, yeah. you know, it, hey, we know, hey, we we coming to the sanctuary. We know that these niggas gonna get it, man. You see, and we know that it's a reward for the for, for us doing this work, man. You see, keeping that integrity, doing what's right. You see, we know the Lord is not gonna let these people uh, fuck get us, man. You see, yeah, and that's the purpose. That's the whole purpose and reason why the spirit of the Lord is upon you know. Uh, you know, the apostles and the elders to admonish and, and you know, tell us brothers, man, hey, be consistent in the work of the Lord, you know, because what that's doing, right, that's forging, you know, a, a, a spiritual pathway, if you will, in our in our spirits, man, to where it will be second nature, mm -hmm. you see, and also for also for the elect that's listening, man, this is why we come back to the street, this is why we, you know, we tune in every single day. Listen to the videos, read and study and pray and fast and doing the same things every day. Mm -hmm. All right. Like, um, I know like brother, I has said it, right. But he says, uh, the, uh, the, the father of repetition. No, what is it? Um, repetition is the father of skill, you know, doing the same thing all the time. And hey, you're going to be skillful in that. So mm -hmm. by, by default, it's going to be second nature. So when everybody else is bugging out, losing their fucking minds, Right, we're gonna know what to do. Why? Because this whole time we've used the grace period properly. We mm -hmm. weren't being niggas. We weren't being lukewarm. You know, taking the truth serious for, for a month, and then the next month you taking, you know, you taking a hiatus, you taking a break. No, you being consistent the whole time throughout the grace period since the Lord called you into this truth. Mm -hmm. You see, so so now, hey, it's shit. It's game on. All right, what's up? You been real, you you been yeah. <laughs> yo, you been well. I've been, been practicing this my whole this whole time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's like yeah, you, you spade with a fight. You've been practicing, bro. You 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 ready, you calm, you like I've been waiting for this, man. You see? And that's gonna be the mindset of the elect, man. They're gonna be man, hey, it's a different spirit is gonna be on the elect, man. You see, and it's gonna be very clear. All right, when these people, everybody else's heart is melting like the scriptures say. But you look at the elect, man, and the elect is gonna be cool, calm, and collected, man. You see? They're going to be in the spirit, man. They're going to have that confidence in you. How about Shimei Awasha, man? And they're going to be able to boast against this giant, man. You see who got the whole earth scared right now, man. Because these niggas is scared, man. These niggas is, is, is moving away. You know what I'm saying? These niggas is throwing the Bible behind them now, man. <laughs> you see, these niggas is doing everything to separate themselves, man. You see, because they scared of Esau, man. Yo. But the house of David is waxing stronger and stronger through the spirit, man. You see? Yeah, that's why we talk about the MOTB all the time. Jake get tired of hearing about that. Mm -hmm. That's a part of a new song, man, that that, that's, that was prophesied that was going to be sung in the latter days. Yeah, yeah we're going to, every video, we're going to bring up the MOTB. You see? Yeah, yeah. We're going to, you know, it's a sea hill. Why? So when it's rolled out, you know what the fuck it is and you know what not to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you niggas, are, you niggas are listening to Chris Brown's song over and over right. every goddamn day. <laughs> But when it comes to actually something that's gonna benefit you for your salvation, this song like the brothers going into you, you you get tired. Oh, that's old, you see. But you like I said, you can listen to Chris Brown or whoever the fuck it is over and over and over, man. You see, when this is the true, this is the true song you should be listening to, man. 
You see? That's all I had, bro. Huh. So, yeah, man. So, yeah. So, we just wanted to touch into that. You know, Abaratazah, or willing. This was edifying until you sincere Akim and few Akwath. All right, until next time, we're going to give all praise, honor, glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechakadash. I want to give double honors to the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone, Mawath, Love of God. Shalom. Shalom.